Hello YouTube, welcome to another video in the WWDC playlist. In this video, I am going to try iOS 17 on iPhone SE 2, which has a A13 chip. So this is the chi same chip as iPhone 11 series, but with the SE 2, it just has 3 GB of RAM compared to even the 10s which has 4 gigs. So, it would be interesting to test out how well the SE2 can handle iOS 17. So, before going into the video, I will leave a timestamp for each segment in the video below. So first, let's go through how we can install this developer beta, the iOS 17 developer beta on any of the supported devices. So, this is the first time Apple is allowing anyone to download and install the OS beta without the need of a paid developer account. So that's really good. So if you go into the settings and then to software update, normally you will not be able to see the uh, beta updates directly right away. So for that, you got to log into developer.apple.com and accept the Apple privacy agreement. Then you got to trust this and you will be presented with another long agreement so you got to read it and then you got to agree the same and then at the bottom of the page you have the button so you have to uh, mark this checkbox and once that is done again go back to the settings and then to updates now magic happens you will be able to see the beta update option and once you go into it you will be presented with the ios 17 developer beta option so Check that option and come back and voila, you will be getting the iOS 17 download option now. Now, now that the OS is getting installed, so this can be followed across all the devices. So iPad OS, Mac OS, Watch OS, so everything. And I will leave a link below in the description. So if you want to see how to install iPad OS 17 or like you want to see the iPad OS 17 running on Mini 6, or macOS Sonoma running on 2018 Intel MacBook Air so you can refer back to those videos. So coming back to iOS 17. So first the number one thing is contact poster. Basically this adds a personal touch to your contact poster than mere a photo appearing when someone calls you. You can add a name and a photo and customize everything and the UI is kind of similar to uh, how it used to be with uh, when you were customizing your lock screen. So we have all the same font options and now even the font size and the styles so the depth mode and also you can create personal contact poster and the same it would be used across all your devices and you also have the contact photo which you can crop and resize and fit in the window and how cool is that now coming to number two standby mode so this can make your iphone as a nightstand or sort of so first things first it's glitchy on iphone se2 so as you can see the uh, and also there are more reports uh, uh, referring to the same thing and so what they say is the software implementation issue and uh, it has to be ironed out with the upcoming releases and yeah like in basically in the next releases so we should be able to see a stable one uh, even with the iphone se2 so should, uh, like we should be waiting for that and basically what it does is when you place your phone horizontally so on a MagSafe charger or a normal Qi charger or even for that matter even your uh, wired uh, charger so this will work and it works across all iOS 17 supported devices so it's not just limited to the 14 and uh, sorry the 14 Pro and the Pro Max so which has the always on display but there is one advantage with that device so uh, it works as a, a nightstand so every time uh, like if you have your uh, 14 pro so it displays the clock and all the uh, widgets which you set up on but with the older devices which doesn't have always on display so it acts sort of like a apple watch so if you have nightstand mode on apple watch so if you tap on the table nearby so it shows the time so it's kind of similar to that and that's that's a good implementation i'd say there are few minor improvements which I'll run you through. So number one is FaceTime. So again in FaceTime, so there is a recorded video or audio message. So it's like a voicemail box for FaceTime. So if 
once couldn't pick up your call uh, then you can leave a message of that like what you wanted to convey and then you have uh, react with hands so uh, this feature it requires iphone 12 or later so basically the a13 equipped ac second generation won't get this option so uh, that's a sad thing and then yeah like we have the live transcription option so uh, basically like if you speak in english so it will transcribe the text that you are speaking so that's a good thing so coming to number two is messages so again in the messages so we have multiple messaging apps so like if you press on the plus button you get a stack of messaging apps and this is very handy and organized so uh, like i can choose uh, like many options which are available here then i have like swipe to reply so finally i can uh, just swipe to the particular conversation and this is really, really handy so i had this option with whatsapp and now i can have with imessage too and then coming to search filters so this is a subtle uh, improvement so wherein like you can search for a particular keyword uh, or something like which a particular person has told you so uh, that's a good thing and then coming to voice transcription so again the same thing like all this voice transcription the improved voice dictation so all these things they have used ai but they didn't mention in the uh, so then uh, there is this cool new stickers which uh, uh, like everyone likes these days and they yeah, are like there is like even a live sticker and also you can create your own sticker and interact with your friends in a new way in a stickery way okay so number 3 is interactive widgets yes this is not just for ipad as they showed in the keynote it's even for uh, ios devices or iphones as well and so number 4 is the lock screen customizations so finally we have dark and light mode which is a good thing and also like we can adjust the font size of the clock and uh, there are other uh, subtle changes number 5 is airdrop improvement so uh, i consider this as a major improvement as uh, but like we couldn't get this to test as of now so it has not been released yet so this is a standout feature so even if you move out of the airdrop range so it continues through internet in full quality so you don't require to uh, keep the devices close together till the airdrop completes that's a good thing and again you need not have to open the app uh, to uh, complete this airdrop thing so that's a cool touch so uh, and also like you can uh, obviously can drop like contact drop so which is a new feature again then number 6 is the safari changes so there is no uh, browser profiles but it seems to uh, not work with my se2 at least or uh, yeah like many have um, complained about this so maybe like we uh, we should be getting in the future releases so number 7 is safari app so uh, this is uh, this should be available by end of this year and it seems to be uh, more promising and for the ones who might have used some third party journaling app or like if you'd have bought a paid journal app so number 8 or the ai improvements to the keyboard so the predictive typing has improved and finally you can uh, do some uh, duck typing and <laughs> yeah so that's so clean and also like uh, you can call siri like your uh, girlfriend so you, you you need not have to put uh, hey keyword over there and coming to number 9 so there are uh, there is no adaptive mode with the uh, airpods pro 2 alone and that's a cool feature and also you get a mute option with the newer airpods and the uh, both the pros also get the mute option then uh, the number 10 is the mental health and uh, like vision health in, uh, inclusions obviously like we won't be getting the vision health as it requires the true depth camera and yeah these are the uh, changes which we would be able to see and there are other host of minor changes and improvements so uh, yeah like but yeah like some even they create a significant update as well now let's come to a part which all the iPhone SE 2 users have been waiting for the performance so can the 3 GB ram of SE 2 handle iOS 17 the answer is well now i can uh, test this so i am running a fairly simple game and there is no lag or overheating issues so everything is smooth same as before i would say and so yeah like first let's run some synthetic benchmark and compare the results
So I am running Geekbench 5 CPU test with iOS 17 and here are the results. So we get a single core score of 1315 and a multi uh, core score of 3018. So when I compare this to the results that I got with the previous iOS 16, so it is slightly low. So there I got a single core score of 1321 and a multi-core score of 3293. So which is fine given this is the first developer beta and like we still have three months of time and also the scores are not much apart so which is really good. So till then like most people should be able to get the update within like uh, three months so that time it should uh, be sorted out or even better so i'm saying this because like i also ran the geekbench 5 gpu test with ios 17 and here are the results so we got 7424 which is surprisingly a bit more than what i got with the ios 16.5 so there it was 7328 well uh, here too it should get even better in the future so also in the real world test things are very good so uh, same as how it was with the ios 16 uh, like i feel it's uh, it's similar to what we had earlier so be it multitasking so even the 3 gb ram is able to keep up well so again same as before and i couldn't see any lag or something like that so which is a good thing so the only issue is the battery life so the battery life tends to be a bit lesser than what it was earlier and given the phone's uh, physical battery size of the sc so uh, that's uh, that's still fine and also the age of the phone so then uh, coming to the compatibility so the legendary iphone 10 which introduced this full screen design so that is left out and the iphone 8 as well so now if you want to run ios 17 you should be having something with the 812 or above so the iphone 10r it supports this so the 10s 10r and all and yeah so also there are some uh, features which are left out for the uh, older devices even the se2 doesn't get some of the features so most of the features it uh, it requires iphone 12 or above so to conclude the iPhone SE second generation it can handle iOS 17 pretty well and coming to iOS 17 it's a good update so which brings some important improvements and also some nifty features so which are nice to have so on that high note it's time to end this video so do like it if it was useful for you in some or the other way also consider subscribing for more content like this and as always, stay safe and peace.